Please let's be seated. God bless you. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus and put our hands together for that wonderful hymn that we had. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We want to thank God for this morning. We want to bless the name of God for his faithfulness and his love. And I want to special thank some of you who came here this morning, even inside the rain. Amen. We can look at our back, it's few. But I'm sure God has something for you. That's why I brought you here, even inside the rain this morning. And I pray for you, you will not miss that blessing in the name of Jesus. This morning, God has brought one of our own. It's one of our area pastors. You know, in the Rinky Centers of God, we have them all. Amen. We have what we call balanced diet. Amen. We have prosperity preachers. We have deliverer minister. All ministers are there in the Rinky Centers of God. This is one of our own. Is in this province, Lagos province 3, and is one of our area pastors. So, he's going to be ministering to us this morning. His name is Pastor Ejiro. Can we put our hand together as we bring him to the altar? Pastor. Hallelujah. Hey, we put our hand to celebrate him the way we celebrate Pastor in the city of life. total freedom we exalt your name this morning in a way you have never moved before father move this morning wherever you find an amen say to them this morning thank you ancient of days lord i submit myself to you only let no man be heard 
but let your voice alone be heard let there be salvation let there be emancipation let there be healing let there be deliverance at the end let your name alone be glorified and let the blessing be ours thank you mighty father in jesus mighty name we have prayed i think you will say better amen brethren your amen can be better and give the lord a clap offering god bless you, you may please be seated hallelujah we have limited time this first service but by the grace of god god himself will do what he wants to do and um, before i begin this is my first time um, of speaking to you here i just come for meetings and walk away and one of my prayers will be answered you don't know why you don't clap yet <laughs> Uh, I was saying, Daddy, thank you. When Pastor said I should come, I said, Pastor will not be available. So I can preach and you won't, I won't be monitored. But I'll be free and that Pastor is not seeing me. When your daddy says, Come and preach on his altar, you must be praying very well. Because I know Daddy is a wonderful man of God. Let's celebrate our daddy in the house. Let's celebrate him. Now, listen, sons and ma, I'm not saying it out of to be, what would I say, ministerially correct. I am speaking because I know he has been with us several times. I know him right from Victory House when Pastor Yusuf was still there. God will bless our daddy in Jesus' name. And let's celebrate our mommy. God bless you, man. You know, when I saw mommy on the other, she was singing. I said, ah, I remember when you were launching an album. I was there. You know, I followed from afar, but now I'm following a, a little bit closer. And the Lord will bless you and all our ministers for the privilege to be here. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Now this morning, maybe when you saw me coming, you might be wondering, what kind of tiny boy did pastor send here today? You see, sir, by the mercy of God, the hand of God is going to visit someone here. And I pray you will be that fellow in the mighty name of Jesus. John chapter 11. I will start in this first service in this dimension with the limited time and I will continue from there the second and third. Verse number 41. Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me and I knew that thou hearest me always, but because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hands and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound with a napkin. And Jesus said unto them, Loose him and let him go. The Lord bless his word in Jesus' name. Having given a topic for this three service titled Total Freedom. Total Freedom. The word total means complete, the word total means absolute. No restriction total the word freedom can be likened to what we call liberty or better still being able to do what you want to do the elders have a saying when a man cannot afford stockfish he will say it's too hard you know it's, it's strong I don't like it many years ago before the Lord gave me lifting I was going to camp in a bus and by my side was a woman and the woman was a child and the boy cried mommy i want gala i said no that is not good for you the boy cried mommy eh, ice cream eh, everywhere is too it's not good for your church it's cold there was hot sun he said it's cold the boy cried again i want cheese bus all the boy cried for she did not have the means so she was trying to tell the boy it's not good. I pray for someone in the name above all names. Every of your heart desire will get to your hand. 
I said they will reach your hand. Sir, I am not preaching because I went through the hierarchy of redeem. Five years, thinking, saying, I am preaching because I am sent. When God sends you, he backs you up. There is someone here, your story is about to change. Why am I saying this, sir? That I saw a man where I walk. Oh God, help me this morning. And we were talking together, mommy. It's some few days before our end of year, uh, end of year party. And the man said to me, "I'm confused. I'm tired." I said, "Why?" He said, "Because I've done 15 years in this company, working in oil and gas. Just let me stop there." And then I said, "God will surprise you." He said, "Like you said, Amen." That Mofi said, "Amen." God will surprise you. He looked at me and said, hey, "I'm pastor." That's pastor's cliche to encourage us. The next day we had end of year party at Oriental Hotel. And they called everyone for 15 years that came out. He came. In the midst of them, because God's word has gone forth, they sing all it out as a sir, I want to make you rich. What do you want? I'm talking of a book as a multi-billionaire in dollars. He said, I want to make you rich, sir. What do you want? He was, eh, 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 he was so confused. I said, God, ah, why not me? They asked that question. I will empty it. He said, eh, eh. And he said, eh, give me a car. He said, shut up! What is car? What will I give you? What will I give you? I give you a complete duplex in Lake Phase 1. The one that could not afford to build a house in, in the Korodu, a supervisor on the spot, he got a duplex. There is someone here. God will surprise you. I he ran. He said, duplex. I said, keep quiet. God is not done. He said, are you sure? I said, yes, sir. God is not done. What is God going to do again? I said, just wait. Before you knew a few months, sir, our office in Tanzania, an issue came up. He said, Who will they send to become depot manager in Tanzania? Kunle was sought for. They said, Ah, Kunle, where are you? He said, I'm in the office. Where? In Bafo, struggling with our tankers, struggling for a road. He said, Do you want to become a manager in Dar es Salaam? If he's, what will you say? He says, I am ready. They took him straight from Nigeria, made him an expatriate staff. Kunle that could not afford to buy a car, they bought a brand new Pajero Sports. Kunle that was trying to make ends meet, they put him on an income. What he was collecting as bonus was over $60,000. Bonus, not salary. There is someone here. God, he said, it is your time. I prophesy to you whatever is in your heart we get on your hand Jesus is Lord so when we say freedom what you want to get so you will get there my son said to me some time ago I used to and I said that watching my time he said daddy I said yes he said I want a white Christmas I said, what do you mean by that? He said, white Christmas. I said, yes, yeah. I want to go when there's snow. I said, we have traveled to Dubai. You went and you saw ski Dubai. That is artificial snow. Take me during the time of... I said, do you know what? <laughs> Are you take three of you plus your mommy and take you? I said, you know, December is let's go fishing. We do... <laughs> Daddy let's go fishing uh, we can't be traveling i'm very busy sir if you want to go and you tell daddy you are good daddy will release me not so but i realized when i thought of the amount i will spend i began to explain to the boy what is that saying he's telling me what i want to reach i have not been able to reach there can i pray for one fellow your heart will get your heart desire Jesus got to the grave of Lazarus and made a statement. Lazarus, come forth. Verse 43. That on his own is a response to salvation. When Lazarus came to Jesus, 
he responded like you and I. You have come to serve God. But yet, you are not serving God in pleasure. You are serving God in pressure. You have come to serve God. Yet, you are not serving God in pleasure. You are serving God in pain. You can smile that all is well. But inside is a pain. To Lazarus came. Many of us are born again. You've given your life to Jesus. However, why are you not where you ought to be? To permit me, if you don't, if you don't mind, I will encourage you because we have limited time this service to finish the remaining one. I will only take one. I will take the second one and then the third. Lazarus came out with his hands bound. I want to deal with that one. This first service with limited time. When we say freedom, your hand represents at least four things. One, your hand represents your destiny. That's why not two people have the same fingerprints. So when there are some palm readers, they can read your palms and tell. My late dad opened the palm of my sister and said, Ah, you will marry while you are in school. I said, this man is just talking. Sincerely, brethren, he got married while she was in school. Two, your palm represents the work of your hands. The work of your life is in your hand. Job 5 verse 12. Job 5 verse 12. He said he will frustrate the device of the enemy and not allow their hands to perform their evil enterprise. Every hand of the enemy working against your life as you shout fire, let them be consumed. Can somebody say fire? Due to Romans 28 verse 12. 28 verse 12 says God will bless the work of your hands three hand is a symbol of power power Exodus 15 verse 6 15 verse 6 the right hand of the Lord is mighty glorious in power so the hand represents power Thank you, Holy Spirit. The hand also represents a means of transfer of blessing and authority. That's why we have laying of hands for Joshua to begin his ministry. Hands were laid upon him. Deuteronomy 34 verse 9. 34 verse 9. Hands were laid upon him. Every strength I laid upon your life, lay that hand with her. I remember a story of a young man, a young man, sir. He got home and the mother said, Don't come and see me. He said, Why? He said, Because it's not safe. And he got born again. He was just laughing. He got to his home, he just entered the home I was coming like that please stand up sir come 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 save my time I say come in do you know how we used to embrace the woman just oh, how are you you are welcome and rub his head please sit down that was all when he got home he told the mother ah this one so saw me she said yeah they have killed me she rubbed your head he said yes ah not every head is the same from head carry fire your head be on fire but the next morning sir the woman ran mad ran to the market mad because she touched a head carrying fire your head be carry fire every strange hand manipulating your destiny I command let the hand with her look up on the close that look up Listen, sir. I was writing my ICANN exam, Daddy. ICANN, one hour, many years ago. Please sit down. In that exam, I have never failed before, mommy. So failure, I don't know. Fail. No, 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 no. I can't fail. All through my campus days, no failure. I was Christian Union um, campus, the president of campus. I didn't fail. Do one, everything. I wrote the exam. I first time I didn't pass. I started crying. 
I wrote the exam. I am telling you stories, reality, real. One night, God showed me in a dream. I saw myself. I wrote the exam. I submitted my scripts and I walked away. And I saw a woman went straight to that place, picked the scripts and took it away. I said, Ma, there's no mass, my paper. She said, and so, ah, drop it. She said, no, rise to your feet. Any hand stealing what belongs to you shall wither by fire. Can you say, Father, every hand stealing from my life, wither. Prayer in the name of Jesus. Ayaragabareke posoria. Ekabalagabaragabaya. Open your mouth and pray and pray and pray. Sharagabababaya. In Jesus' name, we are praying. God bless you. Be seated. Ayayamando san reboshkuria. Let me just start it up because I will continue. Ayya. There is someone here. Ah, a hand tampered with your glory. But the Bible says very clearly that the right hand of God is mighty in battle. Therefore, I release the hand of God and I cause a reversal in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Now, listen. When your hands are tied, what does it represent? Let's deal with those things quickly and I'll close. We'll talk of the many two. One, when your hands are tied, it means that you cannot finish what you start. Zechariah 4 verse 9, 4 verse 9 says, The hand of Zerubbabel has laid the foundation and his hands will finish every unfinished project in your life i prophesy receive grace to complete them that building will be completed in the name of jesus two when the hands are tied it represents labor without results no one wants to hear your stories all they want to see is results. Uh, well, I tried. I don't know if you had uh, those days they will say, they didn't give me English. They didn't give me math. They did not give you. Did they give it or you didn't pass? Say, so, yeah, I wrote why. They didn't give me. How many of you remember? Yeah, all pretending. <laughs> I thought I would not say. Adrian said, yes. When you pass, they will give you admission letter. They said, they didn't give me. They did not hold it now. Ah, uh, thank you, Father. Genesis 31 42. 31 42. He said there, Jacob said, If not God had intervened, you would have sent me away empty handed. Stretch your hands before the altar. I prophesy anything making your hands to be empty. Let the power die. Your heart will receive testimonies. Your heart will be full of blessing. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Be seated. Oh, Barande Geshi Kaparusa. Do you know, sir? Sometimes your helper's hands can be tied. When you read the book of Daniel 6, verse 8, 6, verse 8, the Bible said the king, he labored from morning till night and could not save Daniel. How many of you have heard this thing like this before? I want to help you, but my hands are tied. You hear the same thing? Ah, I wish I, I want to, but sir, my hands are tied. Every destiny helper, willing and capable helpers, I lose their hands to help you, sir. I lose their hands to bless you, sir. The helpers of your life, their hands will never be tied. So, sir, well, we can conclude this first service. His hands were tied. To which means he could not carry what belongs to him. When your hands are tied, those things you should be signing. You can't sign those checks. Those blessings that ought to be for you, you can't lay hold of them. This morning, God said in this first service, 
I should deal with the issue of what is in your heart that has not reached your hand. You didn't hear me, sir. Sir, it's a not to be in your heart. It must get to your hand. There are many of us here in your heart to build that place. Yet, financially, it's not there. It's in your heart to carry your child. Yet, it's not there. First Samuel 1 verse 6. First Samuel 1 verse 6. The Bible said that they mocked and mocked and mocked Anna. Eh, you don't have a child. Eh, you don't have a child. But in First Samuel 2 verse 1, Anna said, Thou hast enlarged my mouth over my enemies. Sir, when men begin to mock you, God wants to make you. When men begins to mock you, God wants to make you. There is someone here by your next amen. There will be a making, sir. There will be a making, sir. Are there people here this morning? You have a hard desire, not yet in your hand. There are many of us here. Ah, you have a desire of Canada visa. It's not in your hand. You have a desire to build a house it's not in your hand because your hands are tied. This morning, andora balende rebo sandalaba lege boronde lebe lege sonto maraba baya ega baba balende geshende rebo sonto raba baya le raba lende bo sonte makate bo shuria. Rise to your feet. I need to close because my time is is very short. This first service, so we'll pick it up. Listen, sir. Listen, sir. I need to pray three prayers here before I close this first service. Ta, I encourage you. I don't normally do this because it's not compulsory. If you can, if you're not in a hurry, come back for the second because there are some mysteries that must be settled. It has to be settled. Or eyes close. If you're here, you've not answered the first call like Lazarus answered. You've not been born again. That means you've not submitted to him. The freedom you must first get is freedom from sin. Matthew 1 verse 21. Matthew 1 21 says, and he will call his name Jesus and he will save his people from their sin. Wherever you are right now, you want to give your life to Jesus or you are born again and somehow you went away. I will give you just one minute because I need to pray now. If you are in that category, raise up your right hand. Anyone say, Pastor, before you do this deliverance prayer for me, please settle the issue of sin. Anyone, raise your hand if you want to, and I'll pray with you. If I find any hand, I'm going to pray. If there is none, I want to believe that means we're all born again, then I'm going to go ahead. Anybody here? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. So I can move on if you believe you are safe. Everyone now, ask for mercy. Ask the Lord 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 for mercy. Before you pray this prayer, Lord, show me mercy. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Eka barande boko shanda baba baba lebo do salaba. Lika mama lendre boko shande bosuria. Have mercy. Have mercy. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I want to pray three prayers in the next three minutes. I think I have just five minutes left. And I'll drop the microphone. Please look up. This is the first time I'm coming here. You can tell that it's not the work of God is not strange for me. I know the God that called me. God is the only backup that will never back out. When God backs you, he backs you to the end. And he has sent me and he has backed me this morning. Every word I speak from this altar shall be established in your life. I want a violent prayer now. Please, before I drop the microphone, listen. 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 Huh. A woman had a child. After two weeks, mommy, they lost the child. The child died. Ah, they cried. And they wept. Oh, let's pray again. And that child came again. After two weeks, the child died. And the child kept dying every time in the baby caught the birth from the UK. And when prayer was going on, hand, 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 by revelation, it was revealed. Galatians 2 verse 2, Paul said, I went up by revelation. Revelation is the mother of elevation. When you receive divine revelation, you are elevated in life. 
you are where you are by the degree of revelation you have contacted and God opened their eyes and they saw the mother-in-law coming to the place into their house while they were still in the kitchen the mother was in the kitchen cooking and the father was not there she saw the baby cut and touched the hand and said what a beautiful coffin at that moment the child was inside two weeks the child died every time they give birth and prepare the court and put the baby inside the child will die why he was entering into a coffin they destroyed it and bought a normal one and the children stayed raise up your hand only to prayer with anger can you say father every evil hand working against my life wither by fire open your mouth and pray be violent, be violent. Ayaga, ba 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 ya. Shake it, Barosa. Oh, ya scatter. Iga ba 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 la ga ba soria. Enda barogo bo seke bo soria. Shanda ba la ga ba soto. In Jesus' name, they wither by fire. Look up. Last one. Mommy, a woman, a young girl, trusting God for a partner, came to church one day. I said, What's the problem? I said, No problem. And then she came to my office. And God revealed to me the mom, the stepmom. I said, Mama, sit down. Tell her what you are doing. He said, No. I said, Ah, say what you are doing to your daughter now. He looked at me. <laughs> ah. It's good to have small body so that they will not even recognize you. I said, Ma, say, she said, Ah, I tied her in my back like a small child with a chain. No man can marry a child because she cannot marry. And the girl began to cry. Say, Why are you crying? But this naughty, stinky witch that with one hand of fire she will go. Now they tied with hand on the back. I pray for you, raise up your two hands. Wherever they tied your hand, by the fire of God, let your hand be loose. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lastly, stretch your hand to the altar. We'll stop here. Time is up. I want you to think of the things in your heart that are not yet in your hand. You are saying you want freedom, but beginning from the hand every hand writing against you will be blotted out I give you one minute now just think and begin to call those things Romans 4 17 God called those things that be not as though they were begin to call them call them call them that is a total freedom it's in your heart not it's in your hand Samuel was in the heart of Anna but not in her hand when one day came she carried her child that's breakthrough, that thing that must get to your hand. 30 more seconds, quickly. I'm going to pray. It's in your heart. It must get to your hand. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Touch your hand. I'll just kneel on the altar and I'm going to pray. And I will close here for this first service. In the third service, Ma, with all due respect to the commission here, I will need everyone to be here with a white handkerchief, a mantle. Because I see people in positions that they need to take their seats. And nobody must take you away from your seats. I don't think you understood me, sir. Your seat speaks of authority and position. Where is the seat of daddy here? Where does he sit? Well, uh, in the name above every other name. No power will your seat before your time. Spiritually and physically, you will not be seated. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please, brethren, I'm not here to joke. Get your man to hear. 
get it here sir you want to go and come back no problem let me pray and close father is the beginning of this encounter service behold the hard desire of your children that have not reached their hand until it comes to manifestation men cannot see it the bible says, when the lord turned the captivity of zion we were like them that dream father i am praying this hour every heart desire in the heart of your children deliver it on your hands your heart will no longer be empty your heart will no longer be tied your willing and capable help us i lose your hands your hand nothing will die in your hand again thank you father my hands are blessed Lord, the blessings of the Lord.